guys hook in my garage. I'm going to go over some stuff that I got at a uh, ridiculous price, I think. It's a certain individual in Las Vegas, Nevada was kind of going out of business and was dumping his stuff. So, I was lucky to have a acquaintance who hooked me up and we drove in and uh, pilfered through. Yeah, pilfered's not a very good word, <laughs> even though it kind of feels like it. But um, we got, uh, him and I both got some stuff. Um, this is a little, basically looks like a frag tank to me. It's uh, two feet by about 40 inches by a foot tall. And it's got a, we were in the back, just a back overflow. Um, I thought this was gonna be like a center overflow from what uh, was explained to me the first time, but what can you do? It's a, obviously a frag tank because it's not big enough to really be anything else but that. Unless you uh, do it up a little ways. Um, as you can see, it's filthy. And it's uh, got some plumbing we had to pull off and cut apart with a PVC cutter. Still got some uh, flex hose here, and this is the intake. And that's pretty much still good. That just needs to be cleaned up. But these need the bulkheads for the uh, overflow for the outs. And I have two lines, and it goes down into the sump. Um, this tank, this sump, the stand, this light, which is a current, same one I have, except for this is a 60 inch instead of a 48. So it'll actually fit perfectly over my 60 inch 120. And the skimmer, which a vast marine works who I never even heard of, but cone skimmer, heater came on, so if it gets loud, sorry. Um, a little return pump down here. And as you can see, the way the sump's set up, this was all made, uh, the guy in Vegas has got scratches. These aren't cracks, it's just a really horrible scratch. Down through there, so, but it's a sump. And for the price, it gives a shit. Um, so as you can see, this is the skimmer part. It sits on that little uh, rack there because I guess it needs for the water height for it to work at its optimal. Um, it's got the baffles here, bubble traps, you know, overflow there, down, and then up, and then over. And that's your return part. This is just solid. It's for a bottle top off. Just put your fresh water in there for your bottle top off. So all kind of enclosed unit. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's extremely filthy. It's the teeth and the weirs going in the back for the overflow. It's kind of good that works the out. Is you don't have the bulkheads on them now because I had to kind of cut them off and then I forgot the bulkheads there. Kind of had kind of a Durso coming up pipe going kind of homemade one but it doesn't have the bulkhead so I'm gonna rob Peter to pay Paul and use those two bulkheads off that double flow CPR that I don't use put them on here and basically kind of use that with the tubes going through and hopefully that'll be enough for the sound if not then I'll have to do a dorsal thing I'm not uh, that gifted when it comes to DIY stuff, so <clears throat> should be a project. But that's the tank, the sump. I think you saw that, what I was talking about. So I have to cover that again. The skimmer, like I said, I have no idea what kind of skimmer this is besides cone ish.
skimmer, a vast, a vast ye matey. It's a pirate skimmer, I guess. Uh, with this pump, it's got the gate valve on here that I gotta obviously put the washer in. But yeah, that needs to all be cleaned out. The thing I noticed about the skimmer is weird is it's got a you see that it's got a metal um, screw in there mm. and it's not rusty it's weird I might be replacing that with a plastic screw it just seems odd that there's metal in it but it's got the basic drip so you can remote skim, or not remote skim, but remote collection cut for the froth, because it doesn't look like, I mean the lid comes off up here, but it doesn't look like this uh, comes off too easy, it doesn't look like it's meant for that, so, yeah, but I don't know nothing about the skimmer. The light, <clears throat> 60 inches, 150 watt. Um, halides and then the 130 watt or 134 watt something like that I think it's 560 watts total so whatever the two 150s are and then the <clears throat> T5s so yeah I mean how I haven't really seen this light too much anymore same like mine I mean, it's exactly the same as mine it's just this one's 60 mine's 48 I don't really see these too much anymore. So, wouldn't even venture to know what they're worth. I know they're, you know, anywhere from 800 to 1,000 bucks brand new if you get something like this system. But, yeah, that return pump, I'm not sure what GPH that is. And <clears throat> the stand is just a you know particle board stand. This is a brushed aluminum. I could probably paint this Rust-Oleum black, of course. But yeah, this is uh, everything that I got from this guy going out of business. I'll put a little. Uh, outro of what his business used to be um, obviously he's not in business anymore so don't spam him I didn't put any contact numbers or anything like that in there so couldn't anyway but yeah this thing needs to seriously be cleaned up And uh, this is going to be my next year project after the holidays and tax time. And set this thing up. Now, for the drum roll, I paid $400 for all this stuff. And like I said, I know that light is pretty close to 800 thousand bucks maybe even 600 on Craigslist or eBay or somebody selling it for used I mean obviously it's used but <clears throat> the light alone would have been worth it but I got the tank stand sump that pump skimmer all for four bills so I thought that was pretty fucking good deal so anyway Wanted to show you guys that. It's probably be it till the till next year, sometime after the holidays and the Christmas cheer at the drunken New Year. Just want to say thanks to everybody who's been watching, commenting on my videos, and uh, it's very well appreciated. I mean, I'm doing this for people getting started because I didn't really have anybody to watch on YouTube when I started, so. And now there's a shitload of people out there, which is fantastic. So I think it's great. Anyway, just want to say thanks to everybody. Um, keep commenting. I'll keep commenting. And.
Good luck, everyone. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. And talk to you later. Master.